What is up guys? It's the next day here. Today we're gonna do some top speed runs. We're gonna do some tests. We're gonna do some competing. It's gonna be sweet. We got the rice buggy running. We got Chris's buggy running. We're gonna send it. Somebody's hauling the mail. I can't even see where I'm going. Bud, where's your goggles? What goggles? The safety glasses. <laughs> my eyes are stinging so bad. I have all this snow just pelting me in my eyeballs. I can't even keep them open. You need a pair of glasses, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. Oh man, I was, I was driving blind that whole way. I think we hit 60. Do you think? Yeah, I started to check it on my phone, then my phone shut off, but I think it said 60. That's, I need glasses, cause. Well, do we have a legitimate thing to do this? Do you guys have to get the speed? Yeah. yeah, I okay. had it recording, yeah. All right, cool. 20 minutes later. Alrighty guys, we are back here. Uh, we got Mr. Chris Rather Be Welding and Adam the Penny Pitcher. What are we doing now? I'm gonna change the gear on here, so therefore I don't lose horribly again, cause you know, I, had, I put the small, I put the smaller gear on the engines, so therefore it just allows us to have way more power, way, way more torque. But the downside, it makes this thing a lot slower, so it's not really that good for racing right now, which is why I'm now switching it to the bigger sprocket. So what was this out of? This is out of a 1993 Suzuki GS500. That was actually not running completely. The engine was totally seized up. And I can fix it up, got it running, and it produces 52 horsepower. Stop. It's brand new, so it's probably around like maybe 50 horsepower because compression is not really that great. I wonder if there's any weight we can lose on ours. Any weight? We're gonna do more air on the tires, shed off any weight we can, maybe take a little fuel out. I think we're gonna hit 70. Yeah. I mean, like, if I was driving it, maybe go like 25. Maybe I can do some push ups real quick and lose some, some weight. Yeah. I think the jacket's gonna go. We're gonna lose a couple pounds with the jacket, lighter shoes. We're gonna hit 70. 70 is scary in that thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not losing the helmet, though. We already took off the seat belt for weight reduction. We can take a few bolts off. A few bolts? <laughs> So what's the what's the tooth difference there, Chris? This that's on here right now is an 11 tooth sprocket. This is a 14 tooth sprocket. So you can see the size difference. This is just obviously going to have way more speed. What's your rear sprocket? The rear sprocket is a 60 tooth sprocket. 
So right now I'm running it with this gearing. It's running a 14 tooth to a 60 tooth sprocket, and it goes pretty fast. And you still have some decent power, some decent acceleration. You know, with these engines, they don't really produce that much of torque in the low RPM, so you really have to gear them down. So therefore, you can still accelerate while not killing the engine. That stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If this thing doesn't go 70. I'm running it over at the tractor. This is for all the people that didn't believe in this build. It said we were doing everything wrong. Mm -hmm. It said it was gonna blow up because it was a snowmobile engine and needed to be. Wait a minute, it's snowing. Anyway. <laughs> we don't care what happens, we're just gonna send it. I still remember how many people tried to tell us that this chain engineer was on the wrong side. <laughs> I know. Everybody thinks they're mechanics. <laughs> when they're watching a video, everybody's like, that's not gonna work. <laughs> this yeah. is wrong. Yeah, I saw it on Google once. <laughs> the only things we gotta do to this are like make a bracket to hold the carb on nice and secure. I mean, the only reason we never really were just getting back around to it was racing season for yeah. him. He's gotten into racing, so exactly. this pretty you much took a back change. seat. Yeah, you gotta change it up. I definitely have to come back up here again when it's not freezing cold out and we have to build a go-kart. Yes. Yes, that's, that's the next thing. It's time. It's time. guys we've been out here way too long it's freezing cold that was just good practice for the both of us i really need to work on my launches with that thing because like part of me doesn't want to burn the belt but on that last one i was able to get the front wheels to actually come up off the ground oh yeah yeah dude we had some close ones we had some, i kept losing though but it's I'm... like it's way too cold out we got to go in and warm up boys yeah. how soaking wet this camera got Brand new camera, but that's what you gotta do to get the shots. Mm -hmm. Brand new lens too. 
the next day. Bye, quad racers. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Smoke cigarettes. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's what I thought we were going to hear last night. Oh, that's sad. Yes, it was. Um, then there was just two. Yeah, he was gone. And just like that, he was gone. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this collaboration. Go check out Rather Be Welding's channel. Link in the description. And we will catch you guys in the next one. Stay sketchy.